Substance abuse, child trafficking, mental health, heavy, serious topics the St. John's County School District says all middle and high school students need to know more about. Joy's here now. Joy, some of these topics are hard for even parents to talk to their kids about. They really are, Mary, but the St. John's County School Board, the district is making these changes in accordance with three new State Board of Education rules. They were approved in August. They took effect this fall. Each school district must come up with their own plan to help middle and high school students better prepare themselves and better cope with today's reality. Our kids are forced to face some pretty adult issues, whether they're watching TV coverage of a mass shooting on a school campus like this one in Parkland, Florida, last year on Valentine's Day, or hearing on social media about cases that hit closer to home, like the arrest of a 14-year-old Terry Parker High School student just a week ago after a loaded gun was found in a school bathroom. Now in St. John's County, new requirements have just been announced for all middle and high school students. Superintendent Tim Forson sending out this letter to parents announcing that beginning this year, students in grades 6 through 12 will have five hours of required instruction on three important topics. They are substance use and abuse, child trafficking prevention and awareness, and mental and emotional health education. Forsen says he believes this instruction will be extremely beneficial for children and may help reinforce what's taught at home. Some other important notes, the mental and emotional health education will be led by teachers. And during the second semester, each school will modify its schedule on five different days to complete the five-hour requirements. For more information, we've posted a link to the district's website on newsforjax.com. And then tomorrow on the morning show at 820, the program director with the Monique Burr Foundation will join us to talk about this new school curriculum. She's also a St. John's County parent who got this email from the superintendent. Kent?